You know what to do, but you aren't doing it. I've heard that before, right? And I remember being little and I always thought I knew it all. And if someone told me to do something, I was like, no, I'm good, I got it. Or, no, I already know what I have to do. You know, being little and thinking, you know, you're unstoppable and you have all the answers. Um, and I'm sure you can imagine a time in your teenage years and your dad or your mom or even a teacher or a coach told you to try to do something differently. Like, no, try this way, it's gonna be better. But instead, you were like, no, I'm gonna do it my way. Well, it turned out that your way cost you more time and more energy and more effort. And in the end, you wasted all this time trying to do it your way. That you finally did it the way you were supposed to the first time. Too much pride got in the way, right? So if only you had listened to the person who may have had the experience than, you know, more experience than you did in that particular subject, maybe more wisdom, you would have been able to get the same result without wasting time and without all the headaches that came along with trying to figure it out yourself. So we have all been there. You can't tell me that when you were little, you never did this. Because we have all thought one time or another that our way was better than anyone else's. You may even be thinking that right now. Why? Because one, when we're little, we didn't have the knowledge, we didn't have the wisdom or the experience that we have now, but we wanted to do things our way. You know, we had too much pride and too much ego to get advice from, you know, somewhere else. And trust me, I was there before. I'm the first to admit it. And sometimes we just get stuck saying things like, oh, I already know what to do. I just have to do it. And I'm sure you've said that before. And can you think of a time where you have said that? Because I know I have. But if you already know what to do, then the better question is, why aren't you doing it? You know, sometimes it's okay to not know everything. It's okay to admit that maybe you need more knowledge in a particular area because at the end of the day, as long as we live on this earth, we are always going to be learning something. There will always be a better way of doing something and sometimes it's okay to not have it all figured out. So my message today is don't let your 13-year-old self stop you from getting results now. There are so many times where I have conversations with people who tell me they want to lose 50 pounds and they know what to do, they just haven't done it yet. And typically all that means is I need to lose 50 pounds, but I haven't decided to ask for help yet. Or I need to lose 50 pounds, I may have tried one thing and it didn't work, so I'm going to figure it out myself. So let me just say this. No one is willingly deciding to stay stuck on purpose. No one willingly decides to stay 50 pounds overweight on purpose. So saying that you know what to do, but staying in the same position with no change is just a limitation that you're putting on yourself. Because there's always a reason that is causing you to not make progress and it's not because you know what to do, you just haven't done it. It's because you haven't committed yet and I don't mean this and say this in a harsh way, but the reality is you don't know what you have to do to get results and it's okay to be there. It's just important to then make the decision to get the help and make a change. So that's why don't be like your 13 year old stuff and be like, oh no, I got this because sometimes you just need help. I even need help. You know, everyone always needs help in a specific area. So ask for it. And that's why I actually joined, um, designed, sorry, um, my seven day challenge because it's simple, it's easy, and it allows you to really make the necessary steps and changes that you need to get healthier, to start losing weight without having to flip your entire life upside down. So I'm gonna post the link so that you could join it. Um, all you have to do is put in your info, wait for an email, details to follow. You could start this Monday, start with a great, start off on a great week. Um, and tomorrow is my favorite day. I'm actually going to be from sharing it from Aruba. So I'm excited. Um, that's why I look a little bit crazy today because I've been doing a million and one things, working all day and trying to get things ready. But tomorrow, join me for, um, priorities. Are you a priority and what are your priorities? So I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Friday. And I'll talk to you guys soon.